First of all, they talked about it in the movie, self-love. You have to know that you're an asset and not a liability. You have to show yourself to be an asset and not a liability. Also, you have to understand that you have to trust somebody. And if you can't trust them, trust the next one and the next one and the next one until you get it right. Somebody that works for you. Love is more than who's going to cook dinner, who's got it. What about when I get sick? What about when I can't wake up and I cannot use the bathroom myself? What about when you go cheat on me and have a baby with somebody else or you bring home an STD and give it to me? Love is more than us having sex every night and I don't feel like it and you do. And do you want it from the front or the back? It's more than that. What about 23 years and they walk out? Or you walk out because now you're tired. Because let me tell you something, people of God. Come on, because it happens in the church more often than it does everywhere else. Come on, come on. Do not look up 20 years down the line and call it a life. And you've been broke and disgusted for 19 of them. And you just figured out who you are. Don't call it a life. Because it's not. You've been squandering it. You've been squandering it. This is the best movie that I have seen in a long time. A long time. And the thing is, is that the jar never knows what's on the label. And it's funny to me that Dr. Rose knew, and they didn't. Everybody in the house didn't know, but Dr. Rose did. The jar never knows what's on the label. She had no idea what she had in him. Because we have been programmed. I, uh, I will tell you, I'm always the minority in the room. But my culture has been the African American community. Yes, I grew up in it. Yeah, you did. My stepfather was black. Yeah. All my siblings are black and white, except me. <laughs> Come on, Vincent. When you grow up in it, it's different. That's why I said about the white girl got a bad rap. Okay, not me. Not me. Okay, I, I can handle it. Whatever you can dish, I can, I can take it. Okay. The thing is, is that we normalize behaviors because they're familiar to us. And we have become familiar with these behaviors, so we put up with it. We put up with it because grandmama did it. Mama did it. And now it's generational. I don't get my props from being a preacher. I get it from being real. Real. Because look, nobody respects anything that's fake. If I walk in here with a knockoff Louis Vuitton, you're not going to respect that. Genuine. Be genuine. Say, you know what? I cheated on your daddy. Your mama cheated on me. Be honest with your children. These are the things that we need to hear. That's right. This movie is real. It puts people in places sometimes that they're not prepared for. You might come out with something that it didn't look like it was when you went in. However, this is what we need to see. Stop being fake. Stop being fake. We need some real folks in our life. All of us have a Dr. Rose in our life. Whether or not we receive it from her is the problem. And it's always questionable. The majority of the time on our part. Because we know there was a flag on the field in the beginning, ladies. A full-fledged flag on the field. However, you still accepted it like it was a touchdown. Ain't nobody scoring nothing. Instead of taking on red flags. Instead of taking on something else that you're not ready for, but you've seen it already. We need more movies like this. We need more actors like this. I respect you, man of God, because you, you took on something that you weren't prepared for. However, you walked in that thing. And you sh and, and there should be more men who can be clean and, and, and yeah. shave and do all these other things. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. 
because we have been programmed and conditioned to think a man should be a certain kind of way. Yeah, right. And now they, they, they have normalized not having any feelings, not dropping a tear. And you think they're a pump because they cried. No. And if they also what? You probably knew it in the beginning. And accepted it. And now you're pissed off because they are. And you accepted it. Okay, anything else you can do? Just 